I'd like to call to order the um, school district meeting, the um, Pentraver School Board meeting of August 11th at 7.04. Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Lego, we have a roll call, please. Mr. Lego, Madam Listen. Here. Mr. Kachasik is out of town. Dr. Koshko is out of town. Mr. Leonard. Here. Mr. Newell. Here. Mr. Nina. Here. Mr. Petrus. Here. Here. Mr. Stovar. Here. And Dr. Trey is also out of town. You do have a quorum, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Lego. May I have a motion to approve the minutes of June 19th, 2014? Motion. Motion by Mr. Leonard. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Hi, I'm turning over to Dr. Harris for information. Thank you very much. Um, after last week's hour-long information <laughs> meeting I already presented, uh, we only have one person that's going to do a quick presentation. It's our assistant superintendent, Mr. Scott Ingoise. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Uh, we talked a little bit about this last week. It's uh, On Hand Schools, and On Hand Schools is a um, software um, piece of software that essentially takes all of our data and houses it in one spot. And what this will help us do is really uh, help us form data teams and analyze data so that we can really drill down and look at what the issues are, where the deficiencies, and make uh, adjustments to instruction to address those deficiencies. So. It does a lot of different things. I'm not going to spend a lot of whole lot of time on it. I'm not going to claim to be an expert on it. We had a one-hour presentation. We haven't had our formal training on it. You know, obviously we're asking for your approval this week, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what it can do. This is the um, I don't know if you can see. I know it's a little bit small, but this is the uh, the home page. And as an example, this is a the dashboard they call it. And you have a bunch of widgets on here, which essentially um, you know, shows you some of the data pieces. And as an example, here's the algebra one. Um, widget and that yellow area right there is, is a key area that we need to know about. That's the uh, students who what we refer to as bubble kids. So you know there's 40. This is just this is fictitious data. So this is just a, a dummy uh, data system that we have right now. But if you click on this 40%, um, it will get you all of the kids who are in that area. Okay, those are your basic kids, kids who we think that we can move into the proficient area. So. It, automatically with one click you can see all the kids who are right on the bubble and it gives you the ability to really address those kids and see what their issues are so if you click on this kid right here kathy anderson you can see what it does and this is a very powerful tool right here is this young lady you can see all the data that she has ever uh, accumulated over, over the course of her you know 10 12 years of, of school and whatever grade she's in you can see that there's data from the PSSAs from 6th grade, 7th grade, you have 5th grade, there's Dibbles data, there's SAT scores, uh, there's local assessments, uh, foresight assessments, all of the different, all the different data pieces are all right there. So teachers have access to this, uh, the data teams, the, the PLC groups, the grade level teachers that are meeting can really look at these kids and see what the issues are. So just an example, if you want to see how this young lady did in 6th grade on, on the foresight benchmark, uh, you click on it and you can see where she's at and what the issues are. You can see where the deficiencies are. You see over here, uh, there's a negative 20. So she has issues with uh, critical uh, reading. So you can really drill down and see what the problems are and, and formulate a plan. And it kind of goes into you know, our mass customized learning. We're trying to develop plans for every kid so that we you know, can really address their needs. So that's, that's one piece that it does. If you go back up to the dashboard, um, Again, there's more pieces, there's the PSSA. Over here you have something that's called, uh, these are our at-risk kids. So there's a formula to take a look at all the discipline issues, test scores, grades, attendance, all the different things that the kid accumulates over time, and identify some at-risk kids. These are probably kids who you might want to uh, consider or worry about possibly at risk of not graduating. So as a high school principal, guidance counselor, you're gonna to wanna to look at these kids and see what the issues are and see what you can do, to develop a plan to make sure that they're on, on track to graduate. So again, you click on those kids and you can see exactly where their issues are, what the deficiencies, what kind of discipline things they've been in. This pulls all the data that, that we have, whether it be Dibbles, SAT, the Power School data, it puts it all in one place and makes it easy for us to look at and extract it and really analyze things. 
Uh, another feature here, as I, I talked a little bit about uh, discipline. Here's, your, here's a, a example of, of the, dis, the discipline that's happening in a school. Maybe uh, Dr. Harris and I have to do a report on, on bullying, harassment, and we have to do a safe schools report. Well, I can click right here, boom, and I know how many uh, bullying, harassment uh, cases we had in a particular building or a particular in, a, in the school district, and we know exactly what we have there. Um, very powerful tool for principals to look at those issues. Uh, you can also see the number of suspensions, in school suspensions, out of school suspensions. Over here, we have uh, attendance graph. So you, it pulls all the attendance right out of power school, puts it in there. You can see what kind of attendance you have from one month to the next. Uh, you know, you might have the winter months where you have high uh, attendance issues because of some of the uh, weather issues, or you know, maybe there's an issue with senior skip day, and you want to see what you had on, on a particular day in, in May where senior skip day, and you click on it, and you're able to see uh, what kind of kids, what kind of data you had uh, for the month of May. So it's all sitting right there for you. Uh, so that's just another feature of the attendance uh, piece that you have. The other thing that, that it will do for us that uh, we really like, uh, the principals were really excited about when they saw the um, presentation. Uh, there's, there's a curriculum package, and it, there's not much I can see on the demo package, but you're able to write your own curriculum and dump it in here so the teachers have access to that, right, you know, as opposed to going to a binder or going somewhere else to find it. The curriculum can be written and placed right in there, and it's correlated to the standards. It all sits right there. It shows you the benchmarks and the, and the standards that, that are there for the kids. So it's all right there. You can also, uh, there's a lesson planner piece, and um, right now we're not really happy with our lesson planner piece that we have right now, so this might be able to help us with that. Uh, you click on it, you can see the, the week there and, and all the lesson plans that could be in there. You could export it through a PDF uh, and put it on the website or whatever, how we, how we want to uh, uh, put that out there for the parents and, and kids. There's also a nice feature that's an SLO package that's coming out. And as you know, uh, SLOs are coming for the new teacher evaluation system. So this is another form that can help us uh, create those and develop them. And so you know, it's something that we look forward to looking at to see if that could help us. Uh, there's so many different reports and different features that you can use. Uh, Mr. Carazia with the RTI over there might want to use that area. You can develop your local assessments. Some of our uh, teachers, uh, I know at the high school we created our own benchmark assessments in mathematics and language arts so that uh, we were able to look at data. So you can create your own local assessments and put it in there. It houses all this data and it's there for the teachers, for the principals to use uh, to, to hopefully make improvements on the instruction. So, that's kind of a little brief overview. It's, it's not, you know, I didn't give you the, the full uh, package, but that's, a, that's it in a nutshell. Does it give you all the data in your subgroups and everything so you can? Absolutely. Okay. Yep, you could, you, there's so many queries on here, you can okay. sort it and divide it out into and, and anything that you want. And does PowerSchool work with it? In yeah. fact, yeah, that's a good question. They, uh, they asked what our student information system was and they said, uh, we said PowerSchool, well, that's great. Because PowerSchool is actually uh, the number one leader software in the country, so it worked very well with them. Okay. It, it, so we won't have a lot of double entry should. from the PowerSchool no, system? No, it migrates it. If they okay. do something where it kind of talks to each other every night and takes that okay. data and, and pulls it apart. What's the, how does that conversion take place? Is that part of their, is that part of the company's job to help us with that? They, they asked for a meeting with Mr. Caruso to work that out. Okay. I don't know the technical side of that, but I know that uh, he asked if there, we, we had a, our, our, our server locally, which seemed to be a good, good indicator. He said that's good, so we should be able to migrate this out very easily. Okay. So any of the double entries really, things were already double entering into like a spreadsheet or something. Right. If we want to have it in a central place. Yeah, you know, we get our data, we get it in a spreadsheet, and it's, you know, you know million cells to the left and a million cells down and, and honestly it's the point where the principals and teachers it's so much there we don't know what to do with it all trying to figure it out and how to deal with it is very cumbersome time consuming so if you're able to just simply dump it right into here it sorts it puts it in there now you're able to click 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 if you want IP students or you want socioeconomic groups you want fifth graders third graders boom you grab it and it's right there for you uh, maybe this is a little bit more redundant, <coughs> but as I gather this, it appears it's totally reliant on good data to give Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So if this goes into play now, 2014-15, would it be retroactive back to student data that's been compiled to that point, or would it be moving forward putting all new data in? That's a good question. Um, they, are, they are able to do whatever, they, whatever data we give them, they're able to put in there. So we have data from our PSSAs and Keystones from, the, you know, from its inception. So it's just a matter of getting that information to them and they'll be able to pull it. So they're able to go back so far, I'm not sure where the, that data begins and ends, but 
I am quite confident we can get a, a, at least five to seven years worth of good data in there. Am I right, Dr. Harris? We have a lot of this. this we have everything saved. That's what I thought. So it sounds then like it would be real labor intensive that they have some compatible um, programs that would be able to go in and, and soak the data out of our programs. And it, sh it should be seamless. And in fact, we, we've talked to some other administrators and other districts. They say it's very powerful. It's, it's, it's a great system and uh, it was highly recommended. That was my next question. Other districts that have used this successfully do. Yeah, uh, a lot of districts are using it. I know Norwin has used it uh, specifically. I've talked to some of the principals over there. They're, they're very happy with it. Um, Gateway used it and um, our new principal, he's actually going to be doing the staff exactly. training, part of the staff training because he's actually... Tony uh, speaks very highly of the new high school principal who used it at, uh, at Gateway and uh, he's planning on uh, working with the teachers at the end service on, on developing the, the program more. And we believe this is going to help with one of our goals. We are trying to um, raise student growth. I know if you realize in the Pittsburgh post is that this day less at all the scores and Penn Trapper is no longer. <laughs> on the top and one of the categories with the student profile report was um, student growth. We took a big hit in that area all across the district. So we actually want to use this to help us identify where students who need to grow and um, use it to help um, you know, increase student achievement and also improve PBOS scores, which in return improves our SPP scores. So. Yeah, SPP is a new benchmark to evaluate schools. You're going to see that more often every year what is the school's SPP or the district SPP and they're finally starting to release the district SPPs and one thing that we uh, we know that we need to work on is what Dr. Harris indicated our growth which is PBOS and that PBOS data will be dumped in the year we'll be able to see what their issues are with, with uh, PBOS in terms of growing kids and it's very confusing and there's a misconception that whenever you have a kid let's say who's an honors kid or a very academic kid who scores right up here well People say, well, you can't grow a kid who's already up here. Well, the truth of the matter is you really can't. Um, you know, they, they look at that child and they say, well, let's see, if he scored 1,500, well, he's projected he should be able to score 1,525, okay? So there's, everybody can grow, and so there's different targets that each every kid has. So if you don't meet those targets, then that, that hurts your PBOS score, and, and, and it's reflected in your, your SPP. Well, by the same token, don't the uh, districts that have lower test scores have a bit of an advantage because it's you could argue that uh, but again every kid can grow at a certain growth rate so the advanced kids and lower kids can grow so maybe it's harder to grow a kid who has a learning dis disability i mean you can argue that but they're saying that it it, it balanced the playing field is pretty well balanced it's it should it should be skewed towards the low end or the high end in terms of growth Any questions? Okay, right, thank, thank you, Mr. Lacey. Yeah. And that's all I have. This is, this is. Okay, um, this time we normally would have recognition of visitors, and we have none. No one has signed up to speak, so um, let's continue with the meeting. May I have a motion to approve the treasurer's report in the high school extracurricular fund report? Motion. Motion by Mr. Leonard. Second. Second by Mr. Patrice. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. May I have a motion to approve the list of bills for the month of August? So Second. Motion by Mr. Patrice. Second by Mr. New. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Any old business? None this evening, Madam President. Thank you. Um, we had an executive session prior to this um, tonight's meeting where we discussed the sale or purchase of real estate, teacher negotiations, um, hiring of personnel, and to receive other information. Let's move on. Um, new business, athletics and extracurricular. Dr. Koshko is not here, so who do we have taken his place? Okay, Mr. Petrucci. Thank you, Madam President. Move to accept the following resignations. Tracy McDonald, Philip Moses, Sylvia Pazano, what a great name that is, and Louise Rancevic. Second. Second by Mr. Newell. Question. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. 
Move the employee to following replacement for summer band camp. New employment is contingent upon receipt of all necessary documentation. Extends back 34, 151, 114 waiver, waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Jennifer Sager, clarinet, clarinet instructor. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to employ the athletic and extracurricular personnel for 2014-15 school year as presented to the board. Salaries are determined in accordance with the <coughs> negotiated agreement. New employment is contingent upon receipt of all necessary documentation and sections of Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers of Carmel, Pennsylvania within 30 days. Second. Second by Mr. New. Question. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the following volunteer coaches. Alex Novetny, volunteer boys assistant soccer coach, middle school. Sam Bassey, volunteer girls assistant soccer coach. Second. Same by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. So I am Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Petrucci. Budget and finance. <coughs> Mr. Tastic's not here, so I believe Mr. Mr. Stover. Oh, sorry, Mr. Knoll. That's all right. Thank you, Madam President. Move to approve the expenditures for the high school renovation project for the month of July 2014, according to the schedule uh, as listed below. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to acknowledge receipt of PDE's approval of Plan Con Part F construction documents. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. <coughs> Move to approve the renewal agreement with Sark and Company. The proposed fees for their services will be $22,400 for fiscal year ending June 30th, 2014. $22,975 for fiscal year ending June 30, 2015, and $23,750 for fiscal year ending June 30, 2016. Second. Second by Mr. Patrice. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the Penn Trafford School District's contribution to the area libraries for 2014-15 as follows. Penn Area Library, 7,000. Trafford Community Public Library, 3,000. Manor Public Library, 2,000. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. <coughs> Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no? No. Okay. Motion, what? do we do a roll call? Yeah, they roll, roll call. Mrs. Issen. Uh, yes. That's my vote. Not yeah, right all this <laughs> uh, Mr. Leonard. Yes. Mr. Newell. Yes. Mr. Neen. No. Mr. Petrucci. Yes. Mr. Stovar. Yes. Motion carries five, one with three absent. Um, I do want to mention that this is not an increase of funding in this area. It's basically the same $12,000 that we have been donating to libraries. It's just a, lo a little bit of a redistribution to include manor. Okay. Do I, I still do the question being called for? No. I okay. Before I get to number five, I'd like uh, Mr. Lego to spend a minute um, and kind of go over the bond, um, the bond issue. Okay. And uh, with us tonight again are uh, Mr. Antonio Masitti from PNC Capital Markets and Mr. Chris Brewer from Dinsmore Shoal. Um, and they'll correct me if I say anything wrong. But essentially, uh, we're at the point of the project where we have two options in terms of how we can complete the borrowing. Uh, now that the project cost is known, we can either borrow the remaining sum of money currently, right now, or we can do as we've done in the last couple years and uh, borrow less than $10 million, which makes the bonds bank qualified and a little more uh, attractive to the bond market. And then whatever the balance that we need, we can borrow after January 1st. 
Uh, I think the advantages of the bank qualified probably outweigh the advantages of borrowing all the money uh, right now. So that would be my recommendation. And this, yep. and this motion, as I understand it, will cover either because it's a not to exceed not to exceed number in total? Correct. Now, I do have one question, though, for Mr. Brewer, because as I was away last week, I didn't see this resolution. Uh, the motion's saying the non-electoral debt not to see thirteen million seven fifty, but your resolution says sixteen million four. Sure. If I might, Mr. Mayo, the um, just based on the conversations last week uh, with the board and work session, the thought was that and I apologize, didn't get a chance to chat today. The thought was to go ahead and authorize the full amount that you might need on a not to exceed basis, if per chance, in spite of the best plans, the market changed up, and you might decide sort of the last minute to go ahead and borrow more than a, a, a bank qualified amount. So it allows us to do that. The other thing it also allows us to do is, even if we stick to the plan that, that's being recommended, it may well be that if you're ready and soon enough that we can take advantage of this one action, one resolution, we can bring both pieces in, one piece this year and one piece next year. So we're trying to just be sort of efficient with your actions and not to take anything out of your hands in terms of votes and decisions, but to just kind of keep this process as fluid and as, as quick on our feet as we can be. So with and that discussion last week, I'd ask Mr. Massidi to run the numbers at the $16 million four. Again, for the record, we don't think you're going to be borrowing that number. Okay. So for the purpose of the motion, I think it should be 16 four as per the resolution. Okay. Yeah, and I, again, apologize. I did lay at everybody's seats before you came in uh, the final version with the schedules from PNC that accomplish all that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Based on it, that information, I'd like to make the motion move to adopt the bond resolution authorizing the incurring of non-electoral debt not to exceed $16,400,000 in general obligation bonds. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the payment for the first year of on-hand schools in the amount of $25,000. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all I have in this area, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Noel. Mr. Leonard, buildings and grounds safety. Thank you, Madam President. I do have a couple items. I'd first like to make a move to approve the list of substitute custodians for the 2014-15 school year, a copy of which will be filed with the official minutes of this meeting. Second by Mr. Newell. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. And also I'd like to move to approve the replacement of four sets of bleachers at the Penn Middle School Gymnasium by CM Eichenlaub at a cost of $34,972. Second. Second by Mr. Newell. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. <coughs> All opposed, no. Motion carried. Can I comment on that for a second? Just to clarify. Sure. Those bleachers, uh, our maintenance guys will be uh, demoing the, the current bleachers, so they may be, we may not have bleachers in time for the fall uh, season that's in there. So um, just make the public aware we may have to have, you know, bring your lawn chairs and whatnot until the new bleachers are in. We wanted to make sure those bleachers were out because we do feel that there's a, a safety concern with those. We don't want anybody else to get hurt. So uh, the bleachers at Penn Middle School will, will not be there in the, in the fall until the new ones are there. So they're going to start ripping those out very shortly. Just keep everybody What's out. the completion date on that approximately? They, they're thinking October, November. That's usually like 17 weeks just to get them Yeah, or yeah I mean, there's, there's lead time of getting them bored and things like that. So we hope to have them ready for the you know the winter basketball season, which is November. So this is BYOC for the September and October. Bring your own chair. <laughs> we did at the high school. And actually, it worked office. out when we did at the high school. I actually enjoyed sitting there. You, might bring more, you may bring a more comfortable chair. I did. <laughs> One more question on that matter. You said the demo has not started. It's to start soon. Will the demo be complete by the time school starts? Jim Bracco has, has said he's going to try to get it done before school starts, but if it, he's not done, he will make them uh, inoperable. He will board them up and make sure that nobody can pull them out. And by having our own guys do it, we save um, we saved a great yeah. deal of money as well. <laughs> At least one side, maybe. Good. Thank you. And having said all that, 
That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. Mr. Nemec, Employee Relations, Negotiations, Transportation. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, move to approve the list of bus drivers and substitutes as presented by first student for the 2014-15 school year. A copy will be filed with the official minutes of this meeting. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Um, Quick, you have a comment? No, I just wanted to jump in after this is approved. I had something to say about the bus, <laughs> bus rosters. Okay, question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Uh, the best post card, cards you should have received in the mail today or tomorrow, all the rosters are on the website. Please call with any concerns or questions. <laughs> all right, thank you, Dr. Harris. I think you're done. That's all I have, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Nemec. Mr. Stovar, food service. Uh, yes, move to approve the list of cafeteria personnel for the 2014-15 school year as presented by Aramark Education. The copy will be filed with the official minutes of this meeting. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carries. All right, move to adopt the following resolution by the school board of directors for the 2014-2015 school year with regard to the free and reduced lunch program. Be it resolved that Penn Trafford School District agrees to participate in the national school lunch program and to receive commodities donated by USDA and accepts responsibility for providing free and reduced lunch meals in accordance with the Pennsylvania Department of Education guidelines to eligible children in the schools under the district's jurisdiction. Second. Second by Mr. Patrice. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. And finally, uh, move to approve Turner Dairy as the milk supplier for the 2014-2015 school year. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all I have, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Stovar. Mr. Petrucci, personnel and curriculum. Thank you, Madam President. Move the move the following administration be designated official raters for professional Personnel Penn Schools School 2014 school year as listed. Second. Second by Mr. Noel. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the teacher assignments for the 2014 15 school year as recommended by the administration. A copy of the assignments will be filed with official minutes. The administration is further authorized to notify teachers of their permanent assignments in accordance with the negotiated agreement. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the list of substitute teachers support personnel for 2014-15 school year. A copy will be filed with the official minutes of this meeting. Second. Second by Mr. Newell. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the following intern assignments. From California University, cooperating teacher is Tracy DeLumbo, intern is Rebecca Coopler. The area is speech language pathology. The dates are August 25th to December 23rd, 2014. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move the issue of the professional contracts of the following teachers in accordance with the section 1108 of the school laws of Pennsylvania. These teachers will satisfactorily complete three years of teaching in the Penn Traverse School District. Megan McGraw and Nicolette Stoop. First off. Second. Second by Minister Newell. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Interrupt for a second, Mr. Petrucci. I have to say it was a fast three years because I can still remember their very first day of school for both Megan and Nicola and I Nikki. And I just remember them getting their pictures done for the new teacher induction. And I was laughing because we only had two at that point. And <laughs> you kind of see how many you can hire. Not. I know you got to pull them up coming out, but they both did an excellent job. And I'm very happy with both of them. It was good hires. And I think everyone was on the school board at the time to hire them. Maybe Marty is not three years, but. Yeah, I remember how. Yeah, but good hires. So thank you. You think the time's flying now? We can get our age. <laughs> and under step six, the special ed teacher, which is listed to be, not, um, to be determined, we actually had a last minute resignation for the life skills classroom at Level Green. 
person we just hired, she resigned. We went through the whole entire process again with um, phone interviews, paper screening. Greg did an excellent job. And today we had our teaching lesson and it was unanimous and we called for all the references were great. But the name for special ed teacher is going to be Brittany Grabski. And it's, print, it's spelled just like Grab Ski. G R A V S K I. She'll be at step <coughs> Bachelor Step 3, 44,100. And she's able to start on the day of the first day of school. So that is my recommendation. Okay. That's Bachelor 3. Bachelor 3. Good. All right. I think, think you're still up. Okay. Number six. I know that. Uh, oh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm done. Okay. I, was say, <laughs> not, not, no, I, I always have something. Right, number six. Move to employ the following personnel employment and con contingent upon receipt of all necessary certification documentation in the Secretary of Act 34, 151, and 114. Waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Teachers, employment effective August 18, 2014, to teach in areas of his or her respective certification and signed by the administration. Employees are contingent upon receipt of all signed contracts. First, Sabrina, Sabrina Bora, M2, salary $44,017. Christina Bazzuto, M3, $45,017. Nicole Birch, B25, 9, $52,151. Brett Keimer, B1, $21,150. Nicholas Mastrani, M2, $44,017. Stephanie Miller, B25, 3. $44,404. Jody Nee, B3, $44,100. Dorothy Sullivan, M3, $45,017. And Brittany Grabsky, B3, $44,100. Once you find your list and then we'll or you can go. Oh, you may go. You, I think we yeah. do wait for a second. Oh, I'll do all my accounts. Sorry, I'll do all my accounts. Okay. Student learning assistance, <clears throat> effective 818 and salary $28,000. Don Brady, Cindy Berger, Heather Getkin, Christy Hartman, Jennifer Capaco, Richard Neese, Deborah Reagan, Tara Raymond, Brittany Ring, Anna Marie Rodriguez, Bethany Smida, Stephanie Trotman, Tracy Wolf. Special education classroom instruction aids, effective 818, salary $20,000. Rebecca Mitchell, Shannon O'Connor, Tammy Ross. Library aids, Janet Johnson, Megan Leonard, Alexander Miller. Building aids, Pam French, Sherry Gall. Fair professionals, Heather McElroy, Melinda Knoll, Megan Sassanetti. Long term subs, Brittany Ring, Michael Mulchin. Second. Second by Mr. No. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Um, I'd like to take a minute. Were you going to do the same no, thing? I, <laughs> I, always I, know. I know that at least some of them are in the audience. If you all could just maybe let us know who you are. Welcome. Stand up and. Hi, Jody. Jody Welcome. I'm Stephanie Miller. I'm first grade sunrise. I'm Christy Hartman. I'll be SLA at Sunrise. I'm Stephanie Troutman, SLA at Sunrise as well. Nick Mastrani, first grade at Trafford. Dorothy Sullivan, emotional support. Christina Pizzuto, second grade at McCullough. Brett Keimer, Penn Middle School ticket. Is that it? Well, welcome aboard. Congratulations. A lot of work in various capacities. Dorothy, how long did you substitute for PT or work as a PCA before you got a job? Um, about eight years. About eight years. Christy? Seven years. Seven years. Nick? Three years. Three. Stephanie? Three. Three. And then Jody? Uh, five. About <laughs> five years. A couple of newcomers. I know Brett is, um, he's doing our half day tech ed and he, this is his very first teaching job. But he's very excited, and we're glad to have him with us. And as far as I know, Stephanie got, just got married. I take it, I say, no, I think it's, <laughs> I was looking at the name, I said, oh, no, it's a little bit different. And then Christy, but in other, how long have you subbed for us, Steph? It's been five years. Five years, and Christy? This has been my, this will be my third year in the district. Third year in the district. So it does, like I said, we have a lot of substitutes with it. When we always do elementary, everyone says, how do we hire elementary? We hire from our sub pools, we hire from our SLAs. Excellent teachers, excellent people to have in our building. Very proud of all of you, and, I'm, and I can't wait to see you in three years 
get it, get your <laughs> permit certificate. Yeah. And the funniest story on Jody, she came in to, um, we had some summer hires. She came in, signed her contract, and I said, what are you doing? She had paint, and she was going over and painting her classroom. So <laughs> I thought that was real nice. <laughs> Another trivia about Jody. She's actually a triplet. Yes. Oh. They used to live down the street from me. Yeah, mm -hmm. You don't know too many triplets now. You may know twins, but not too many triplets. Another bonus is I think that about half of these uh, teachers are, are PT alumni too. So. How many yeah. alumni out there? And there's two or three who aren't here are also alumni. So they uh, are homegrown. They've done a great job, so we're proud of them. <laughs> Welcome back. And I truly appreciate that you came to school where we can play. Yeah. It means a lot to me, and I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Mr. Noel just said something. What? I think it's, isn't Smita a triplet as well? Yeah, yes. Sm yeah. You know, you're right. The Smitas are triplets. No, we're not discriminating. Hired. We're only hiring triplets. That's, <laughs> okay. that's what George is going to put in the paper. <laughs> if you are a triplet, you have bonus points when you apply to PT. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Move to approve the student handbooks for 2014-15 school year. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed no. Motion carried. We said the resignation of Michael Garrett according to the severance agreement as as hereby approved by the part of the resolution effective August 12th, 2014. Second. Second by Mr. Newell. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Who said the following resignations and borrow retirement of building eight at Sunrise Elementary School, effective July 28, 2014. Rachel Kolick, special education teacher, effective July 28, 2014. Shannon Moduleski, paraprofessional Penn Middle School, effective July 9, 2014. We put on a sub list. Gina Pipak, paraprofessional Sunrise, Sunrise Estates. Effective August 5th, 2014, we'll, we'll continue as a substitute teacher. Second. <clears throat> Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a, a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. <laughs> motion carried. Move through the following leave request. Jeffrey Fox, music teacher at Penn Middle School, Harrison Park, and McCullough. Effective August 18th to August 29th, 2014. Vera Moog, custodian at Penn Middle School. Effective June 16th. To September 16, 2014, William Scaladone, Maintenance Department, effective July 28, August 15, 2014. Okay. Second by Mr. Noel. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. So I am, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Petrucci. Mr. Noel, policy, public relations, legislative, Title II. Thank you, Madam President. Move to accept and file the minutes of the Superintendent's Information Committee meeting held on Monday, June 2nd, 2014. Second. Second by Mr. Patrice. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve policy number 137 and administrative regulation number 137-AR to allow a student enrolled in a home education program to have the option of taking courses being offered at the district school they would normally attend. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to tentatively approve, approve revised policy number 248, unlawful harassment, and revised policy number 249, Bullying is submitted to the board. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to appoint Dr. J. Trey as PSBA voting delegate for the 2014-15 school year. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Madam President, make sure to tell him that's what he gets for not coming to the I, you know, I was just going to say that. I was very glad to read that motion, Mr. Leonard. <laughs> and that's all I have. Thank Madam you, President. Mr. Noel. Mr. Stovar, taxes and insurance and census. Nothing to do with you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Stovar. Mr. Brungo, solicitor's report. A written report was distributed to the board for your review, and I have nothing other than that. All right. Thank you, Mr. Brungo. Mr. Reinier, PTA rep. Uh, one very brief comment. Uh, on a topic everybody wants to know about our negotiations. Um, 
I think what we have on the table right now is, isn't exactly what you guys want. And it's definitely not anything we want. But I think it's a fair offer. And I hope in the next couple of weeks we can get something done. It's my sincere hope. We hope to. We're working on it, Mr. Yeah, you know that. All right. And then hopefully we have a great year. Just like every year here at Bench Travel. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other business? Any other comments, questions? All right. Otherwise, this meeting is adjourned as seven. Oh, sorry. I'll give you a motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. First, motion. Nick. Second. Second. The next meeting is okay. We got a motion. A second. Okay. The next meeting, um, Tuesday, September second at seven p.m. At the high school cafeteria. This will be under construction. Wait. I'm sorry. What was that? Where is it? Say that again. Cafeteria. Oh, okay. High school cafeteria. Thank you. Thank you. I suppose. I suppose I'd have figured it out when I showed.